this, I actually thought whether or not to, uh, to talk about this or not, because it can get kind of confusing and you don't really need to know it, but I sort of decided that if I didn't tell you, you just pick it up on the street somewhere, some guy, some alley would tell you all about this, and if they could, information would be right. Um, so when you're looking at lights, uh, there's a few different terms that are used and thrown around, and um, it's good to know what they're talking about. Foot candles is the amount of light generated one foot from a light source. So say, say this is my light source. A foot candle is one foot away measuring how much light is coming from this thing one foot away. Lumens <laughs> is one foot candle falling on one square foot of area. So that's actually measuring how much light gets where you want it, um, rather than uh, measuring from the source, it's measuring um, the illuminance versus the radiance. Candle power is just the, the amount of the measure of light taken at the source of the light, which is very confusing um, because it's like a doesn't take into account lenses or anything like that. Because if you have a lens, you can increase the, the amount of light and the direction of the light. So it's like, candle power is sort of like a bare bones measure of light. And lumen, or lux, is lumens per square meter. So um, how much light you get, the, how much light gets where you want it per square meter. Um, and if it sounds sort of like uh, a different way of saying the same thing, <laughs> it's not, but it sounds like that. Um, and I actually I have a uh, a link to a really good, really good site that explains this more. Because um, it can be kind of confusing, especially when you start looking at different lights and um, you don't know how to compare them. Uh, this is um, This is a a calculator online, which actually I'll, I'll just I don't know, talk about this too much. You can check it out yourself. Um, that Such as the 
one of the initial images I projected of the projector made of PCB tubing. Um, they were using a smaller lens, I mean a smaller screen, so the rest of their projector could be smaller. The downside of that is that your image isn't going to be quite as, as nice or, or clear because you're actually, it's similar to if you um, use a smaller negative photography and enlarge it, the quality sort of grades, it's a very similar process here. If you use a small screen, it's going to um, great as well. And this is some images of, of bending your, your light. Um, light source going through the canal, <coughs> bouncing off and going to your uh, uh, projection lens. And this is, these are some slightly more complicated versions of actually folding light um, in a three-dimensional actually like shrink it down considerably. Um, so this is like the screen. Actually this is nice because it still uses a, a fairly large screen. Um, you don't sacrifice uh, <coughs> your the quality of your image. The downside is that unless you use what's called a first surface or a front surface mirror, which is basically, most mirrors, a piece of glass with a silver coating on the back, and light actually passes through the glass before it hits the reflective surface, so you get distortion and um, your, the brightness of your image deteriorates. If you use a, a first surface mirror, what that is the reflective surface is actually on the, the front of the glass. So any light going through it bounces directly off the front and doesn't actually pass through the glass. You get a, a better 